In 10 years, the Bassett brothers have chased the checkered flag on racetracks across the country. <laughs> Currently, they're on the K&N Pro Series circuit. We both put our, our hearts and souls into working on the cars and making them fast and being able to contend for wins. It's a blast. I wouldn't trade it for anything. They do most of the work themselves, from the track to the tune-ups at their garage. This was their garage Friday evening. All their cars, parts, and tools went up in a blaze. Saturday morning, the Bassets could only sit and stare at what was left. I don't even still I don't have no words for it. It's, it's everything we work for. You know, 26 years worth of stuff, 30 minutes, it's gone. When I got here and, and seen it in person, it was just like my heart sank. I had a loss for words. I went to sleep last night hoping it was all a dream. Fire investigators told the Bassets the truck they used to pull their cars race to race appears to be the source of the fire. Now, these would have been the cars the Bassett brothers would have used to race up in Dominion on May 30th. Right now, though, they're just praying for a miracle to race at all. I mean, we don't know anything else, so, I mean, we would hope if we could all figure out how to make it happen one day, but obviously as of right now, you know, probably no time soon. We'll just have to go day by day and see see how things work out. Hopefully we can can get something for the next race. We're third in points, and it would be nice to, to continue to run for the championship this year. The Bassett's Hope Insurance will help cover some of the hundreds of thousands of dollars that were destroyed by the fire. Just to quit, that would absolutely just crush all of us. So. Hopefully we can get something back. Brandon Lavornia for Time Warner Cable News.